This is uh, just going to be a, a short running session with this 1949 um, ED346, a very early one with the machined crankcase. These have been one of my favorite engines for more than 60 years and I'll try and show you why. Um, before we run it properly, I'll just sh well, I'll show you a little trick um, which uh, really demonstrates how easy these things are to operate. Um, if you open up the fuel needle about three quarters of a turn from running setting and you reduce the compression to get a normal rich slow running condition then uh, choking the air intake, putting your finger over the air intake, um, draws in more than enough fuel in one turn uh, to start the engine. Uh, and that means that if you um, set it up rich and under compressed the way I just described and you put your finger over the air intake the engine will start first flick every time and I'll try and show you that it probably won't work for the first start because um, for the choke turn you need to know that there's uh, no fuel in the crankcase to start with uh, but after that uh, watch See what I mean? If we didn't have any neighbours, I could go on all night. Okay, that's enough fancy tricks. Let's um, see what the thing will do. I'll tune it properly and um, take an RPM reading. Um, the propeller is a, a top flight 12 by 4, which is about as big as the engine wants to turn. Um, if you want to fly control line, this is great for flying old timer, but if you want to fly control line, you'd need another propeller, of course. So let's get the thing tuned and see what it does. Well, I thought that was quite good. Um, it's turning a, this 12 by 4 between 7,200 and 7,300 RPM, um, which is uh, easily good enough for light junior 60 or simplex and stuff like that. Really nice engine, huh?